TJ Dillashaw weighed in. I've been waiting for this. I'm a big TJ Dillashaw fan on a personal level, but also his performances. I also went and saw TJ train in person, and I didn't know I didn't know he was a mean person because he's so handsome. He looks so nice. TJ Dillashaw is this guy's mean. And I don't want you to take that the wrong way. I was just a believer before I saw him train, and now I see him in the training room in a totally different atmosphere. And I go, oh, this, this is a rough guy. I mean, this is just a real competitor at absolutely everything. And I was able to see it firsthand, right? Then he just disappears. TJ Dillashaw comes in off the shelf, which is hard to do. His previous fight was at 125 pounds. Now he's going back to 135, which is hard to do. He's got two major knocks against him. He's being looked at by everybody. So now he's got a third pressure on him. Oh, and by the way, he returns to a five-round fight with Corey Sandhagen that turned out to be absolutely phenomenal. I mean, there was a lot against TJ, and he still passed the test, and then he got hurt again. Doggone it. Doggone it. Was it his knee, guys? Was it his knee? Or I'm thinking shoulder, because TJ's dealt with both. I believe this one was his knee. But now he's out again. And I talked to TJ's manager often. I talked to Tiki off. Hey, fill me in on TJ. What's up with TJ? And even Tiki was like, I don't know, man. Doing some rehab and he's trying to get better. I think he could walk right into a title fight, but we don't know how long this delay is going to be. And that's how I felt about it too. Even absent of talking to Tiki, that's what I would have told you guys. We don't know when TJ is going to return. So that's why it's good news that TJ spoke up because Aljo Sterling has never needed an opponent more than right now. I don't know that this gamble that Henry Cejudo took could have paid off if the timing wasn't what the timing currently is, which is you have Sterling, who has now become a darling of the fans. Sterling's never got a reception like he got in Florida, and he never had a post-fight speech that got more of a, hey, job well done, young man, than he got in Florida. It is very likely that Sterling, next fight is a main event of a pay-per-view. That's what I'm sharing with you. If you are main event and pay-per-view, right, you've done it. You've made it. But it's, it's hard to do. It's it very competitive. And you need the right opponent. And Sterling has now put them all in the rear view. Sandhagen would be an awesome opponent. He already fought him. Jan would be an amazing opponent. He already fought him. Jose Aldo and Dominic Cruz were talking about getting business going together. I don't know why Dominic won't speak up. Dominic can beat any one of these guys. There's a bunch of guys that can beat him too. Dominic is one of the boys still. He is in that absolute top echelon, but he's not demanding anything. Can't come out here and demand it on Dominic's behalf. He's got to go, then I can come back him up. Just by example, I mean, that's how this works. So it does bring you back to TJ Dillashaw. What in the hell is this guy doing? Well, TJ spoke up. TJ's very well of where this division at. Very well of where he stands, but he did not make it clear of when he can return. So I, I kind of have to stop the TJ talk right there, and that's what takes me back to Henry. Henry was playing a very risky game. And the only cards that he was holding was his resume. Two-time world champion, left on his own terms. Oh, by the way, Olympic gold medals as well. That's a lot. But it was also all that he had. They just didn't need him. Henry's talking up three months ago, and he was. Who's going to be in a big hurry to get him in there? We've already got the champion signed against the number one contender, and we don't even have a date for that, right? If you back up three months, remember? Because Jan and Sterling got booked twice. That ended up falling through, got rebooked again. It's been damn near a year. Hasn't been that long, but it's been damn near a year. But point that I'm making, there's nowhere for Henry to go. Henry was coming in to fight for a championship. He made that crystal clear to anybody that would listen. And he threw out a number of champions that would do, that would suffice. But the championship fights were booked. That's the point that I'm attempting to make. We knew what was going to be next. It's pretty damn unclear what's going to be next for Sterling. I think I make a great point with Dominic Cruz, but nobody's backing me up. I think I make a great point, which I haven't brought up yet, with Jose Aldo. We can't just deny him. Jose is an inspiration. There's not a bigger compliment you could give a guy. A good fighter, a tough fighter, he had a great career. Those things are wonderful. He's, a, he's inspiring an entire age bracket. But I haven't heard the last, I don't know the last time I heard Jose Aldo's name. I'm assuming that he's booked. In fact, I thought it was going to be with Dominic Cruz. I, I, I'm trying to get that one, and I, I'm not seeming to get my way. 
So who are you going to put Aljo with? That's the only question. That's where Henry starts as an option, as a very good viable option. And the fact that Henry is back into the pool, that's where it gets interesting.